Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Hattie, I'm a UK based anime figure collector and cosplayer. Um, for today's video I have decided just to change up the scenery a little bit. Um, I was just a bit worried that all my videos were getting a bit samey um, in the same area. So let me know what you think of this new setup. If it's something that you like, um, I might do some more um, videos in this area in the future. So just let me know in the comments what you think. Um, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing another figure that I picked up back in May at the MTM London convention. So if you saw my convention vlog, you might have some idea that this was probably going to be coming up in the future as well. Um, and that is the 2016 Racing Miku Tai version. She's a 1 in 8 scale by Freeing and I picked her up from the Japan Centre stall. Um, she is absolutely stunning and although she was never a um, figure that I had on my top top list of collecting, um, when I saw her at the convention and for the price that she was, I couldn't justify not getting her so I obviously had to pick her up um, she cost me around 80 pounds and considering that she retails roughly about 150 I believe um, I couldn't not pick her up um, especially with my racing Miku addiction and the fact that I've already got caught and I've already got quite a few of the scales already um, so I was really pleased to find her um, I'm really sorry it's gonna reflect quite badly on here but um, as you can see she is just a basic um, window box package figure and then you've got the a showcase of the figure itself on this side and then again you just got the information product information obviously it's by freeing down here and some more close-ups of the figure itself um, as I mentioned she is a 1-8 I think she is actually my first 1-8 in my racing Miku collection um, so I'm hoping that she fits in okay with the scales that I've currently got um, that is if she fits in at all because my racing Miku shelf is getting chocker blocked now. It's not a joke. I literally had an existential crisis fitting in my last scale figure that I got of Miku. Um, to be honest, it does look very nice now, but um, it's getting a bit problematic when I get new additions. So hopefully I will be able to fit her in somewhere. Um, she was a little bit beaten up box wise, but to be honest, um, when I saw her, I couldn't really complain. Um, Japan Centre is always really reliable as well. I've shopped with them for years um, when going to conventions as well. So if you do ever happen to stumble across them when you are going convention shopping, honestly, their stuff and their customer service is brilliant. So you can't really complain. And the prices are always pretty fair, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I got this back in May with my friends. Um, I will just show you what she looks like in the blister pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. As you can see, um, she is very well secured. She is literally covered in the regular amount of kind of protective plastic and things. Um, something I love about the Thai figures is always the tan that they put on Miku. I, I love it. And I love that she's always got a, on somewhere on her body, she's got like a tattoo or tan lines um, with like the Krypton Future Media um, logo or even the Good Smile Company logo. I just think it looks really, really funky. This hasn't actually got any tape on the box, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, we'll just pop her loose. Oh, sugar, okay. Down here, let me just get this plastic off of her. Okay, okay, she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see here, she deviates from her regular pigtails and she has just got the, like, the horns on the top of her head with the um, highlights going through her hair as well. Um, I am genuinely really hoping to pick up the Good Smile Company 2016 Miku um, racing figure. She's absolutely gorgeous. But the thing is, she her aftermarket price is hideous. It's it's absolutely vile. Like, I, I can't justify paying that sort of money for her. Um, but unfortunately, back in 2016, um, I was still in high school, in college, sorry. So um, I couldn't really afford that sort of money on figures. Um, Again, something that I love about this is the bangles. Um, you can see that they're kind of like half flung out, like onto her wrists. It just looks really, really cute. And her expression is absolutely adorable. Like, I, I just love it. Um, further down on the figure, um, you can see that she's got these really cute, like little pumps on with the ribbons. And they just look super dynamic. Like, I, I just love how it looks like the wind's caught in her hair. Um, 
and again you can probably just about see here that she's got the Krypton Future Media logo um, on her leg for tan lines um, I just think it's a really really clever cool concept it's gorgeous um, again with most racing Miku figures the body sculpt on these are always incredible um, she's got her tummy is really super toned as you can see here and the sculpt on her shoulder blades and back you you can't complain and so especially for the price that I got her for um, I just think she's precious and there's no sort of indication of any paint chips or anything in her hair or any kind of manufacturing issues at all um, I'm really really pleased I picked her up for the money that I got her for um, the only thing that I wish that they had on the base was like the racing track um, don't get me wrong I'm not too mad because to be honest she is probably going to be in the back on a riser in my collection so she can peek over some of the other Miku figures that I've got but I just think it would have been a nice addition onto the base um, but let me just pop her onto here for you so you can see what she looks like all assembled oh sugar, that is... Oh, there you go no she went on easily enough um, I hope that this figure doesn't have any problems with leaning in the future um, I don't think she will um, because she's literally just held up by the one peg line. But she is absolutely gorgeous. And I do love the colours that they went for in the 2016 design. I think it's just really, really bright, really vibrant, sorry. Um, and as you can see here, her toenails are also painted. And so are her fingernails. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get a particularly good shot here because of the way that she's got her hands posed. Um, but yeah, I couldn't be happier with her happier with her to be honest she's absolutely gorgeous um yeah no i'm really pleased with her to be honest um so yeah that pretty much rounds up today's video to be honest i am going to try and find somewhere to put her amongst all my other racing mikus now which is going to be a bit of a challenge in itself um but i will also show you if i have time i'll, I'll try and get like a, a like a, a pan of both my racing mikus just so you can see the whole collection together um because they deserve to be seen now i love them they're absolutely gorgeous i hope that you enjoyed this mini kind of um unboxing again she didn't take me very long to unbox she's quite a simple figure and it's there's only a few talking points with her but i hope that you enjoyed nevertheless um i have got more figures to unbox as well i've got plenty coming on the way i've got lots of pre-orders kind of incoming in the next couple of months so if you enjoy anything obviously con like cosplay related anime figure related please feel free to drop a subscribe there's no pressure of course but it's always nice to have more of you along for the ride i guess um and yeah, um, I hope you guys look after yourselves. I do just want to say a quick thank you to everybody that has supported the channel so far. It is always really appreciated. Um, again, let me know what you think of this setup in the comments below and I'll know whether to kind of go back to where I was beforehand or maybe to do a few more videos in this corner of my bedroom. Um, eventually, this will probably be replaced with more scale figures um, because I have got so many on the way. And to be honest, I don't really have room for my prize figures anymore. But um, yeah, um, Take care of yourselves guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!